you know, we didn't talk about him as much specifically, we talked more about Baylor, but Anton's strength and ability to move his feet laterally, give him a chance to be one of these big, strong hybrid forwards that can switch, guard a lot of people. Um, I, I want him to come in here with the mindset that he's going to let it fly like he's never let it fly before because I think he's a better shooter than he sometimes thinks he is. And so um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting him in here. Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to a breakdown edition of the Garden Report, uh, focusing on the Celtics' second pick in this draft class, Anton Watson out of Gonzaga. Uh, as we discussed earlier at our back center, a uh, five-year Gonzaga player who uh, in high praise uh, despite being around his 60th prospect or so and Kevin O'Connor had him similarly ranked uh, coming into this class uh, Sam Vecini called him one of the few prospects in this draft who can truly guard one through five uh, so Brad Stevens excited about the defensive possibilities there uh, discussing him earlier in his press conference uh, saying that he feels like the speed, the uh, agility of Watson is better than he even tested. And the testing numbers weren't bad, uh, pulling him up from his G League camp. He's about 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, uh, we talked about 7-foot wingspan, so this length, there's legitimate switchability on the perimeter when you see the way he's able to move and anticipate. And we'll get into some of that film in just a second here. But uh, Watson definitely brings a lot uh, to be intrigued by on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, he's stuck with guards, as you can see through some of the film. Uh, there's a strength to his game. He went into the uh, NBA process last summer, it appears, and at the G League Combine where he was last year, much like this year, and he weighed about 241 pounds. He's down to 233 this summer. Uh, which if he needed to shed some extra weight and got that as a feedback in last year's draft process, he certainly got that done uh, over the last year or so here. And uh, if he's able to play at his most agile, uh, that'll answer some of the questions offensively because to work on offense, and the reason he goes 54th in this class is a lack of a clear role offensively. And you heard Brad Stevens at the end of his uh, press conference there talk about letting it fly uh, and where he didn't do that in college he selectively took threes you're gonna see in some of the film here that he even hesitated to take some threes at times uh, so that's gonna be the most interesting thing to watch from his summer league beyond the position he plays which is another question here uh, how many threes does he get up how effectively does he convert those threes he only took one and a half a game uh, that amounted to 51 for the season but he hit 41.2%. So can he get more up? He was a career at 30% uh, for his career. So which is he? You know, Is he a guy who has a little bit more potential there? Is he a guy who needs to figure it out somewhere else? And we'll get into some of the film here, starting on defense, which is definitely the more exciting tape uh, here from him as we get into it. There he is blocking Hakez in the lane. Some transition defense right here. Scramble closeouts. Definitely something that looks great for him. There he is on the perimeter against a guard sticking with him. So you just see a variety of defensive plays. Kind of passing lane here. Running out in transition. Pushing the ball off rebounds and steals. Something he was able to do about a steal and a half per game here. Uh, nice recovery block on the drive there. Again, on the perimeter, active hands using that length. Defending post-ups, something he'll have to do if he's going to play a little five in this league. Uh, and you see it again here in help position this time, which is something he showed an ability to do. So there's a ton to love here on the defensive end of the floor. Offensively, again, teams are playing off him. He's got to knock down that shot. Here he hesitates a little bit, goes into his post game, which can be a little bit methodical. Uh, but he was efficient around the rim. Over 70% around the rim, which is really impressive because he takes some tough shots, as you're going to see here. There he is pushing the ball in transition again. Uh, here's a little pick-and-roll play from him, and there was a ton of pick-and-roll for him in Gonzaga's offense. Uh, able to move into a post up here. Uh, just some good movement offensively from him, too, that you like to see. The screening was quality, uh, and just his overall angles that he played at. 
gave him some good leverage over defenses. Uh, and again, some dexterity around the rim uh, that's intriguing. Uh, some bounce in spots too, which you wouldn't expect. Shot selection, I don't know about those push floaters at the next level, and we'll see if he's able to translate some of the rebounding to the next level. His vertical is not uh, super high. I think it actually came in at like 27 or something in the G League camp. But again, Brad confident some of those measurables can go up. Uh, so there you have it. A lot of pick and roll, a lot of post-ups, a lot of push floaters, stuff like that, and a limited number of threes that he didn't always totally look confident stepping into. That's going to change here in Boston. Uh, he's certainly going to put them up. Uh, by all accounts, it looks like he's going to play on a two-way, which is something Brad Stevens indicated today as well. Um, so 54th pick, you get a real bankable skill uh, with him here at that spot. So you'll take that and make of it what you will into next year. Uh, can he get into competition for some depth minutes in that front court? First, you're going to have to figure out whether he's a real five. At the four, he's going to have to shoot. Uh, but defensively, he looks ready for that NBA level. So there's a bankable skill that you can lean on with Anton Watson, the 54th pick, one of two players that the Celtics drafted in this NBA draft. Uh, you can go to our official Daily Fantasy sports partner one day. You might be able to pick Watson here for now. Enjoy women's basketball. Enjoy baseball as uh, the summer sports keep rolling along here. You just pick two or more players, pick more or less on their projections. And you're off. It's that easy. Use the code CLNS for 100% deposit match up to $100. And again, they're offering a free UFC square through Saturday. Uh, so get, get that right now as well. Uh, that's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. And game time. Go to game time right now. Create an account. Use the code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Of course, terms apply. Summer means concerts, events. And still some sports as well. Connecticut Sun get their games going on. And the Red Sox, if you want to go catch a game for them. Or anywhere across baseball or the WNBA. Uh, go to the Game Time app. Again, use that code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Great deals right up until and after game time. Especially in the summer. Some people just might not want to go. And you get a great deal on game time. And you're going to see where you're sitting too, which is important. So again, $20 off with code CLNS. Terms apply. I'm Bobby Manning. Uh, and that's just... a. Uh, Dip your toe into what Anton Watson could potentially provide this team eventually. Again, probably head for a two-way deal and will play plenty of time up in Maine this year. So uh, that's what you can expect from him. Summer League getting going in a couple weeks here. And we'll have more coverage of free agency as it begins this weekend. Uh, this has been the Garden Report. Breakdown edition. I'm Bobby Manning. Talk to you later this weekend. Hey, Bobby Manning here. If you made it this far, you probably enjoyed this video, so subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out our social media platforms at Celtics CLNS.